Skies are hazy here today in Athol, likely from the wildfire that sparked right here in town yesterday. And while smoke may still be lingering, firefighters were able to squash most of the large threats from the Sarah Loop fire. That fire is currently under investigation as man caused. Highway 54 running through downtown Athol is busy Wednesday with cars driving in both directions. A different scene from Tuesday when most cars in Athol were headed in one direction, out. Fire behavior increased very rapidly as we got on scene and the first action was to evacuate. Just before 3 p.m. Tuesday, a wildfire ignited near Athol. Josh De La Marion with Timberlake Fire says flames came within 15 feet of some Athol homes. Only one shed and RV were lost. The homes that the division that I was in charge of for structure protection, a lot of them had some very good uh, defensible space. It really helped us get in there to be safe and combat what we could to protect that structure. First responders across Kootenai County helped fight off flames. De La Marion says air resources from the Ridge Creek fire burning 15 miles away in Hayden also supported firefighting efforts. Very thankful that we had that many resources close by to help us on this and get it contained and checked really quickly. Within four hours, firefighters gained control of the fire. 7 p.m. Tuesday, evacuations downgraded to level one before lifting Wednesday morning. As you just heard, creating defensible spaces played a large role in preventing a lot of potential damage from yesterday's fire. Timberlake Fire encourages homeowners to trim tree branches that are near structures and monitor dry fuels like grass and pine needles that are around the home. In Athol, Janelle Finch, Crime 2 News.